What are my top five accessibility apps? Keep watching to find out. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible and I make videos on technology, accessibility, and encouragement for people who are blind and visually impaired. If you're interested in that type of video, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Today I wanted to talk about my top five accessibility apps for both iPhone and Android. There are definitely a lot of apps out there that are for blind and visually impaired people, but these are my top five in no real particular order. These are ones that I use all the time or my husband who's totally blind uses all the time. So number one is Be My Eyes. This app connects somebody who's blind or visually impaired with a sighted volunteer and they have over four million volunteers all all over the world right now and whoever needs assistance they just call using be my eyes and then the volunteer can use the rear-facing camera on a smartphone to help somebody who is visually impaired out with reading or identifying colors or just uh, helping them with a visual task Great. could you read and identify this for me yeah that is Okay. It's definitely a great app and it also has other features like specialized help where you can connect with um, different businesses and organizations. And if you want to learn more, I did a whole video about Be My Eyes and I will link it up um, here and down in the description as well. One of the best parts of Be My Eyes is that it is completely free. And Be My Eyes is available on both iOS and Android. And for all of these apps, I will put links down in this description for both the App Store and the Google Play Store. Number two is Ira. This is very similar to Be My Eyes, except that it connects people who are blind and visually impaired with a trained agent. They go through background checks and they go through a lot of training so that they know how to better help somebody who is visually impaired. So could you describe this painting for me, please? So it looks like a scene on a beach area, okay, so there are some mountains in the background. Also the Ira app offers a lot more features like ride sharing and they can help uh, remotely on your computer or even on your phone. Um, and if you want to learn more about Ira, I also did a video on that. And if you're curious to know about the difference between Be My Eyes and Ira and which one you should use, I'll link that video too. Number three is actually two different apps. So for the iOS side, Seeing AI, and for the Android side, Google Lookout. Unfortunately, Google Lookout isn't available on iOS and Seeing AI is not available on Android. So these apps are very similar. They use your smartphone's camera and they can take a picture or you can just point the camera at certain things like text and um, even just your environment and it will describe it to you. Both of these apps have their individual features and I will definitely be doing a video for each of these apps in the future. I definitely think that Seeing AI is one of the best uh, OCR um, apps on iOS and Google Lookout is one of the best ones for Android and they both do really well. Number four is Bard. So this is a really great app if you're signed up for the library for the blind. They have an office in each state and you can just call them and if you're visually impaired or if you have dyslexia or if you can't hold a book, you can definitely apply and then once you have gone through the process and you've been approved and you're a patron, you can get the Bard app, which is amazing because you don't have to use the book player that they send you. You can just use your smartphone. They have so many books and it's really great. I listen to audiobooks all the time and I love it. I love Bard. Um, it doesn't always have like every book but they have a really big selection. Number five is another one where it's different for um, Android and iOS. So my husband is the one who uses an iPhone most of the time and I use an Android most of the time. Um, so for me, my fifth favorite app would have to be WeZoom. I really think it's one, if not the best, magnifier app 
for Android. It's pretty simple right out of the box, but it also has advanced gestures and other things that you can do with it if you want more out of the magnifier. But the really great part about it is it's free and it has no ads. On the other side for iOS, Pablo really likes the cache reader app. So for me, I'm visually impaired, I can still see the cash and the bills and read them, but Pablo, he can't. Um, he's totally blind, he doesn't even have any light perception. So with the cash reader app, he uses that to identify uh, what denomination of bill he has, whether it's a 5, a 1, a 10, all of that kind of good stuff. And it'll turn the flashlight on automatically and off automatically as well. Now I do want to mention a few other apps that get an honorable mention. <laughs> I really like Bookshare and that's available for both iOS and Android. Bookshare is a paid service unless you are a student. It also has a collection of books but they don't have them in audio format. They have them like in a kind of text daisy format which is like a specialized uh, version of a book in text. But using the phone through the app you can have it read it for you using a text-to-speech engine. Um, so it's not like a real person like it is with Bard, but you know when it's not available on Bard I check Bookshare to see if it's available there and sometimes too like some people want to read with their eyes with the vision that they do have. Um, so that's also good with that. You can change the text sizes and, um, and the theme as well. Also, I really enjoy Audible. Bard is great, but sometimes the narrators aren't always the best as like a commercial audiobook. So I still do use Audible. Uh, yes, you have to pay for it, but if you have never tried Audible before and you want to try it, uh, check out the link below for uh, your first book free. I also use Audible because uh, Bar doesn't always have the books that I want to read, especially when it comes to new releases. There are really so many apps out there that really help with accessibility like NaviLens and Envision AI and their SuperSense and there's so many apps out there um, that are really great but these are just my top five and a few that I also wanted to mention. So question of the day is what are your top five accessibility apps? Leave it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this and if you do want to support Live Accessible and our channel make sure to check out our Amazon shop. I will link that down below amazon.com slash shop slash live accessible. Thanks everybody so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.